Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in Philippines. Morning, I. I. Morning. Good day. Good day, mate. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, some new words we're going to teach I. I. Good day, mate. How you going, you bastard? Bananas hunt. Yeah. So this is this chick's morning. Baby. This chick's morning routine is to um, she has the bottles. What do you want, fat boy? She has the bottles for the two this morning. Then um, she gives that plus all the um, bananas and then the was it bran and hammered corn. Bran and hammered corn. Mm. So there's a lot of work when you have a farm, guys. It's just like um, oh, get a couple of goats and stick them down the back paddock, you know? A fucking fat bastard. No, it's not like there's a lot of fucking work. I'm going to give you an update on this stuff here. All right, the insecticide that I used around the house. Okay, this is the one that I bought. I said bought this one when I done the front, when I built the gatehouse building down there. And I tell you, this stuff, guys, very, very, very good. So I'll give you an update. On the house, nothing. No more black ants running up the walls, running everywhere, nothing. And the whole ground was just was still working. Look, this was swept last night. And this is those who are walking up. This was only last night. So it works bloody good. So it just sprayed all along the eaves and uh, it stopped it all, guys. So I'm quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that indeed. No ants anywhere. Should have done that fucking months ago. Oh, look, hang on. There's a couple. Right, I'll go and get that done this morning straight away. Bastards. Sam, you can't eat bananas, fat dog. Now this cacao tree, like we used to have, these cacao trees used to have 120 of them going through here. They were in between all the coconut trees. Then in between, it was all just full of fucking bananas. Like, you couldn't even see, okay baby doll, you wouldn't even see the truck from here before. There's that many banana trees. But um, we cut them all out, but we left this one in as the clothesline holder upper. Now this one was all because it's cacao, which is chocolate. Full, totally fucking full of ants. Like, you, you can't even put your hand on it, it's just pure ants. And the ants used to run along the clothesline here, so I had to put grease on there to stop them. So I got up and I sprayed this one after I did the pig pen. And when I come back later on, it's, it was just raining ants, and you could hear all the ants just falling down, click, 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 on the, um, on the leaves. It was actually raining fucking ants, guys. Incredible. Incredible. So I've still got some solution made up, so I'll spray that corner of the house. But uh, I'm very impressed with it, actually. Very impressed. So you've seen the brand, what it looks like. Now the piggy one, like I said, the bloody, bloody ants here, every join, anywhere where there's a, a, a millimetre of fucking gap, a quarter of a millimetre of gap, they get in. And like all these joins up in here, they even get up in here. And when we're working on it, we just give it a hit with the hammer and the ants will just come pouring out. So I sprayed all this down, and look at this here. This is my worst area next to the uh, pressure cleaner. See all that, guys? That's dead ants. Dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. It's all dead ants. So uh, does the stuff work? Fuck yeah. Is it good stuff? Fuck yeah. Do you swear too much, will you? Fuck no. All right, so she's going good. We're trying to work out her meals at the moment. Like, right, um, she should be on one of those full noodle cups by about now, but she's leaving a lot of food left over. So we cut her down to half on the weekend, half for breakfast, lunch, and then for dinner. And we're just monitoring how much is left over. So um, last night she had her half after chick, chick um, fed her. And um, I come out this morning and there was nothing left, so I thought, oh good. So I've just taken her up a little bit more now to uh, two thirds of a cup. So I'll see how she goes on that. Fucking good looking pig you are. Hey, hey. Good little pig. She loves the shower too. So bloody amazing, like when she first came here, she was just covered in shit. Like, you know, because she was on the bottom layer of the truck and it was just fucking shit coming down everywhere. And oh my God. And stunk too. You know that? I said, chick, why the fuck does it smell like that? And I remember someone else's pig smelled like that. Their pig pen's got no smell. And she said, oh, the type of food that the uh, growers are giving them for high protein growing and all that shit. I was like, ugh, absolutely stunk. So, and when I hosed her down, it did stink. You know, like, I mean, because she was just black. I thought she was, might have been a bit of, bit of darkness, you know. But she come up pink, and uh, then the smell went. Uh, after the days after her body cleared out, all the system that cleared out. So it went. But anyway, back to this. Like I said, all this dead ants, guys. Dead ants. 
So it did work and it does work. So if you're in the Philippines and you say, I've got a bloody problem with the ants, that is the shit that you need to buy, guys. Don't ask me how much it was because I've done that. I built the front gate house a few years ago now. What I did it was Mary Lou's old one and um, that they parked the pedicab there. So what I did was um, pulled it all down, put all the materials in the truck, brought it up here for them because it's theirs. They own it. It's their metal, their wood, their shit. So I give it all to them. Broke up all the concrete that was there. And um, concrete was only under the, the building part where the door was. And the rest of it was all open. What do you call it? Just dirt. So to completely rebuilt it. And before I did, I bought this stuff, chemicals, and sprayed all the ground with it. Sprayed it all so we get all rid of all the termites and ants and everything. We haven't had any ants over there yet. And that was a few years ago, guys. So it does work quite well. So I'll give you another look at it again. This is the shit. And uh, like I said, it works very, very, very good. Well, I'm going to say TTFN. And I'm going to go and do some spraying right now. Bye-bye, I. Bye-bye. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right, guys, that's us on the farm. See you later.